Welcome to Sports, Drugs, and Entertainment, starring G from the Shop and Mark Walter Ward. Please subscribe to us on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from. Belly, belly. What up, world? Welcome to SDE. It's your boy, Mark Walter Ward, G from the Shop. I mean, obviously, RIP DMX, a humongous part of, of when we were growing up, music. I mean, he really filled the void for us at Tupac left. Um, I'm going to ask you something, G. I ain't never been able to find this jump. The first time I ever heard of DMX, I was at PA Palace, and uh, they had this shit called DMX vs. Cameron, and it had, like, four of their single, like, you know, like, Get At Me Dog, the shit was chic, um, y'all being greedy, and then they had, like, Cameron's uh, Horse and Carriage, and, you know, they had a song together on Cameron first album, then they had, like, some jumps that they was both freestyling. You know, ironically, I didn't even like Cam because that's why I heard that song, that weird song that, that, that he made about the priest giving him piss and all that shit. But uh, you, you ever heard that tape? Because it was like mad people. I remember JB had that shit too. Like mad people in the Forest Heights had it. Hell, no, nah, that's when all them uh, verses was coming out on the mixtape. You know what I'm saying? They put a couple people, you know, and, little shit, yeah. shit, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. That, that's the early verses, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I remember from hearing it, we was just like, damn, who the fuck is this? I mean, to be real with you, bro, we didn't know which one was DMX or Cameron at first until we listened to it for a while because there wasn't no video or nothing yet. And then I guess it was the Get At Me Dog video came out came out first, right? The general, I know the general day was all sweaty in the room, and, and that shit just was so, like, gritty compared to all that Mason puppy shit that was out at the time. No, he hit that. He, he, he hit us, man, like a comment for real. Like, you said... Like my Phil the Tupac boy, he ain't do that for me. You know what I'm saying? He's similar. You know, I put him in the same book. You know, as um like old dirty. You know what I'm saying? But he, I can see that. you know, you know, it, it, lyrically though, he he up there with some of the top dogs. You know what I'm saying? People get misconstrued and, and, and distracted by all the other antics and the, and the bargain and all that shit. But lyrically, like. He got bars for days. You know what I'm I, mean, I mean, you're right, because lyrics don't always got to be some shit you got to figure out, like a metaphor. Like, no, he was, say, he, no, he was saying no, profound no, shit. No, no, he was he was stupid with it. He was oh, no, nah, he, he did he did have metaphors, too, but on top no, of that, like, 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 no, like, like no, he was, he'd say deep shit. Listen, like, old dirty, like, is, is great. Bless yeah. the dead, bless the dead, you know what I'm saying? But, like, man, he wasn't writing a lot of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? At the end, they say, but yeah, that's true. Nah, not nah, all around, you know what I'm saying? Like, old dirty, man, like, so charismatic. Like, man, flamboyant, man, can't nobody be that character, like, real. Like, man, and DMX was that type of dude, but DMX really, like, man, when you talk about battles and, and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? He up there with Jigga, you know what I'm saying? People don't know, and people don't give him that respect. You know, you know about that battle? I've heard stories, you know. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm telling you to put. They, they was here. like, they was like even, but both sides said they won, but everyone else said the day was even. I think you can but, find some of it on YouTube, but not the whole thing. But see, a, a lot of people don't know that, especially the youngins. You know what I'm saying? Like, all they know is you know the antics and, and, and tabloids, and then you know they they know he was in movies and shit, movie whoop, but. Bars, man. He got bars, man. Don't get tw don't get it twisted, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Like some of the greatest songs ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like man, shout out to B, man. Shout out to Burn, man. Cause I, I texted Burn, man. He was hurt, man. To his heart, man. A lot of people started rapping, man, because of DMX. You know what I'm saying? Like my my man, Lil Cloy and, and B Dog. You know what I'm saying? So and 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 I remember going to see Belly up in Rivertown, man. God bless the dead thief of Baghdad, man. Rest in peace, Quincy. We, we was in the back. That joint was so packed. Belly was so packed in Rivertown. They ain't say it was sold out. They'd keep selling tickets. Right. Yeah, we yeah. got in that bitch, man. They had to sit in the back, man, on the floor with the fifth Christian brothers watching Belly, man. That Tommy Brown, man. Buns, man. That, that all time, all time movie, man. Man. I guess I never told you this, but, but you know, before I started going to jail and shit, you know, I tried to rap or whatever, right? So, like, I recorded some shit in, in, at Dark Horizon. It's a studio. It was either Landover or Largo. I don't even know if it's still there. And this is, like, 1997 after after 
I graduated from Suitland Summer School. And uh, that man DMX was in there recording. And and uh, what, what, what what's her name? That's so Raven. R Raven Simone was in there too, off the no bullshit. Like if you look in DMX first album, he made almost that whole thing in PG County in Dark Horizon Studios. It says it in, in all, like like at least 11 of them was recorded there. But like, I, I, I ain't meet him or nothing. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't be interacting with people and shit. But, but like, you, you, you could hear that motherfucker barking through, through, through the soundproof wall. And I never heard his music or nothing. Like I said, I didn't even see him. But I was like, man, what the fuck is that noise? Like, like somebody got a loud ass motherfucking dog and shit. And, and sure enough, that, that was DMX. Nah, uh, my slim. That rough ride, when that rough ride is volume one, volume two. Yeah. Right, go <laughs> on. And see, I fuck with the locks hard, you know what I'm saying, pause, you know what I'm saying, but some of the, my, they got some gems on them Rough Rider Volume 1, Volume 2, you know what I'm saying, and DMX was the king of Rough Rider, you know what I'm saying. Right. But, but that it's belly, but, but see, that belly, that belly shit, man, man, that soundtrack, man. That that's one of my favorite DMX songs right there. You know what I'm saying? It was performed in the fucking movie. You know what I'm saying? And he he doing the scene and shit. And Sean Paul, you know what I'm saying? What was the Born Americans? Yeah, I think that was Sean Paul first first group, Born Americans. I had you know? no idea if, if Sean Paul was in Born Americans. That'd be geeked out. All I know is Sean Paul and Slim, you know what I'm saying? Uh, up on the jump. That gotcha. top shot of jump, man. That's one of the man. That shit, yeah, that shit go ready, hard. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. You like the playlist king. Like I saw the Jones, you were sharing a DMX this week, and they was like some deeper cuts. No, you know, it wasn't it wasn't just all the same shit everyone else be sharing. I mean, was, hey, you know, everybody on. put get at me, dog, Rough Riders anthem, all that. No, nah, because that man, one of the best Jones is here we go again, because that's here we go again. He said that shit on belly and slim. I, I say that shit all the time still. You know what I'm saying? You know, like my when, when sincere talk when Nas telling him, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> and then that song, that's my like every day. So I'm like, man, oh shit, here the fuck we go again. You know what I'm saying? I said, I said this on the other other jump. You know, the very last place I was locked up at was the hardest for me because it was a work release and uh the bosses was like some meth addicts and shit. And I'm not gonna lie, like I don't think I'm better than nobody, but it was killing me to have to take orders from these motherfuckers, like absolutely killing me. And and, and I used to have to like tote around these heavy ass cabinets. And, and the only way I made it through that shit, I would sing to myself over and over that DMX song to be like, now I know. Only I can stand the rain. I know I know I butchered that shit, but for some reason that shit just just helped me get through that shit. And I, man, that, that that that's a real first time I really lost weight. I went from 340 to like 170, not quitting that cabinet factory, singing the fucking DMX song over and over again. True story. Nah, whatever, 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 man. That that's ain't that shit crazy. The shit that get you through shit, you know what I'm saying? Be that little small shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And music, music, music is that shit, you know what I'm saying? I I, I be relating, you know, different songs, man, to different times of, of my life. You know, I remember like certain smells of summer and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. But I know what you mean. Yeah, but now, nah, man, like. That man, I swear, y'all, like, here we go again, like, man, I swear, y'all, how he said that shit on belly, I use that shit, like, daily, like, man, that's my shit, like, like, and, and, and he, you know, he had other movies and shit like that, too, but then the song, like, man, like, that, that, man, Slim, we all going through some shit over here, man. Every day is different shit, you know, even if you inside or out, you know, it's always shit. You shoveling shit. Word. And, 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 and my DMX, man, was always, man, that's why I ain't want to do nothing, no no show when he when he had went through whatever he was going through, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody was hopping on the wagon and shit, trying, you know, man, nah, I want to Slim to wake up, man, and be better. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you know me too, for sure. And we for all sure. we we all gonna hit that motherfucking time, you know what I'm saying? But 
he was always, man, some, you know, drama, you know, stuff like that. I never even heard people call in talking about he wasn't no role model slim. We all going through shit, man. It's every day, man. In the Bro, hood, you, 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 you outside know how the world, all that. You know what I'm saying? My fault to interrupt you, but you know, you know how many books and shit I've read and all that other shit and shit I've listened to and jail stories I've heard and all that shit. And I swear to God, DMX's autobiography is the saddest thing I've ever read in my life. And, and and that's before even knowing that he got tricked into smoking a, a crack blunt. Yeah, that, know, Woody, that Woody on the robber shit, man. And, and, and that that was that part wasn't that, that part wasn't even in the book, G. And so like before even knowing that, I'm telling you, like I'm and this shit probably actually I'm not even gonna say this gonna get taken the wrong way, but but many historical figures, I'm telling you, I, obviously I'm aware of all the shit we have to learn in school about people who made it through World War II situations. And I'm telling you, DMX had the saddest life of anybody. I mean, his childhood, it, it's, ama it's amazing what he achieved. Like, 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 like you know, you, they talk about grading on a curve or, or like how like a black person has to work twice as hard to get, to get half as far ahead. Man, that motherfucker had to work 50 times as hard because like he, he just went through some shit. I don't want to get, get it wrong. But I know, I know he got put out of his house by his mother before he was 10 in, in, in New York. Like like homeless, like it's just some sad, heartbreaking shit. So like, God, like, God, like, God, like God, what, God. what he accomplished is, is is a testament to how great he was and, and the greatness God. that was inside of him. I ain't I ain't even going to diminish like what what you talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's countless stories like that in the hood or everywhere. You know? What yeah, I'm but I'm telling you, his was exceptionally bad. Look, look I'm telling you, dude, what you just said, the certain situations, man. I I pick out little pinpoints of what you just said and put them to other people. Yeah, like, me too. Like, that, that is real shit, you know what I'm saying? But God bless the dead, man. One of the most talented, most charismatic dudes, you know what I'm saying? People categorize them, you know, any whatever, whatever way, you know, but talent-wise and, 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 like, man, you wanted, to, you wanted to hear what he was talking about, man. You wanted to hear what the fuck he was talking about, man, no matter what. No matter what, like no matter what the fuck he was caught up in last week, you still want to see what's going on with dog, man. You know what right. man? God bless his family, man. God bless his family, man. Yes, sir. Hey, it's one last thing I wanted to ask you. Uh, I thought one of the more underappreciated Jones. Did you did you see Never Die Alone? Man, that's my shit. That's a with really David good movie, and I feel like it, it don't get no, mentioned enough. No, it ain't good. That's just great. Vicious. Yeah, vicious. That don't vicious. That like oh. And he, don't don't sleep on all the other you know whatever the, he was pumping out there like the Romeo must die or the Cradle um, to the you know what I'm saying? Because them Jones was entertaining the shit. I don't give a fuck. Like they they yeah, they but I thought Never Die Alone was was a great no like, movie in general. A, that was a flick, but but sleep. See, I remember coming to high school. See, I'm going to St. Stephen's, but my man. You know, he was semi hip. He he go see Belly before me. He talking about that joke some shit, man. That joke so unbelievable. He talking about man, now nah, get shot. Then he talking about man, he still going to Africa, man. Slim, we wasn't seen Belly. Belly, one of my all time favorites, man. And if if Tommy Buns wasn't on that joint, man, the, acting like how he was acting, man, you wouldn't even have been into that movie, man, at all. DMX made that fucking movie, man. You know what I'm saying? And Never Die Alone is a sleeper. David R. Kep was in that joint, right? Yep, yep. He, he, was he was driving that, I think it was a Studebaker or some shit. It right? was some nice, nice joint that DMX had and he had the tapes of, of his funky. life story. That joint was funky, man. Ray See, you know, that was a Donald Goins book, too, that they made that out of. Man, yeah, man, that's his right. vision. Donald Goins, man. I, I just found an old Donald Goins book downstairs, man. Swap King, man. Swap. You ever seen that documentary, the uh, Ice Ice T narrated? I seen I seen a rock. Of, what you talking about? That came on like BT or something? Nah, I think it came on Showtime. I know it's on Amazon Prime right now. Yeah, I know it. It's like Portrait of a Pimp. It's, it's called Portrait yeah. of a Pimp. Yeah, I seen that joke, man. Donald going like man, it's a, that's why I said man, it's a lot of trouble, a lot of stories in the hood, man. You you could really pull from it. He broke, man, tons of them jokes. You know what I'm saying? Just living his life. So that's why I said man, trouble souls, man. Always been always been attracted to trouble souls, man. But like old dirty and DMX always putting that same boat, but bars wise, you know DMX got him, but. 
that flamboyant man can catch catch your eye and, and grab your and grab your attention, man. Ain't too many like them. I said I agree. Uh, I mean, you, you know what? We, we, we don't usually do this, but let, 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 let's take a break real quick, and, and y'all can check out this awesome barber shop. It's good, and then it's kind of fun. It's like staying up after bedtime when you're still just a kid. Your love is two for one. It's sweet, and then it's kind of fun. It's like a whole lot of good things roll up into one candy like love. All right, we back. SDE. Um, shit, I got. I gotta give Garrett his flowers. G G G most certainly called the snowfall. The uh, T man boy Franklin. What did 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 you expect? Did you? Uh, I guess I guess we're supposed to give spoiler warnings since we got mad listeners now and shit. So anything past this point is a spoiler for the latest snowfall. So was you expecting him to kill her, Franklin? That is. Oh no, he gonna use her. He gonna use her for for what he. I think he gonna use her. He might have killed her already though. They ain't show it. You know what I'm saying? So we all know he might have killed her already. But the way Frank Saint be operating, you know what I'm saying? Probably he probably gonna twerk the situation. You know, use her ass or whatever. It seems like know. killing people getting easier for him now though. Nah, it it just. Get it how you live, you know. He in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't even like, man, you in it, man. Like, I'll, I'll, you you say that, you know what I'm saying, that right and wrong shit. Motherfuckers be knowing when they doing right and wrong, you know what I'm saying, in life. But you just in the shit. Like, I don't yeah. know how, how you did, like, I ain't, I ain't out there breaking the law or whatever, but, you know, when you in that, that world he in, man. The, oh, yeah, and that, that the, shit she already, quickly. she, she, been, she, he been living with the bro, you know what I'm saying? And, and to hear that situation, but he already got, got an eye opener from Reed talking about, man, you can't trust nobody, man. Right. The father and nobody, man. Like, this big business. This ain't no nickels and dimes, man. This big business. Can't trust nobody, man. Did you expect Reed to be more mad? Like I, I was like, I was kind of shocked when he was like, I told you I got your back. I, th I thought he was gonna bark on him a little harder. Nah, cause the 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 um the, the, uh, the with the addition of seeing the blood on, on his, you know, Reed Reed still got connections with these people, even though he's CIA and a spy and, and, and on his mission. Man, when you spend that much time with people, man, and, 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 and politics and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? They are, you, 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 you create, man, you create some care for, for motherfucker, even though you still understand the agenda. But then he found out Louis got shot and he was dealing with Louis the whole time. Frank was, was down and out, you know what I'm saying? So Louis ain't gonna die, right? She can't die. She I too, know, man. Please don't let Louie die. She too, she too much of a character to, to die. So she ain't going to die. I, I 90, so 90, 90, 10, you know what I'm saying? Because she too much, she too tied into the story. You know what I'm saying? I, I doubt that. Because if she would have died, she would have died already. And it might subvert our expectations, though. For all we know, Man Boy might win and take over. And, and then don't be none of them. And just be a whole different show. No. I mean, ain't like shit like that ain't never happened before. Nah, nah. And, and you think and, Franklin and, will go to prison in the series? If, yeah, because if he's following the free, the freeway Rick Ross. So what? So what? What happens with the series after that? Then, like, do they do seasons with with Franklin in prison? Yeah, or did that just be the end? No, nah, they were flashed. And don't don't expect it to go super long. You know what I'm saying? This what 
four seasons. Yeah, well, the the, the showrunner in, in the article I read, he said it's going to be all gas this year, and next year it's going to be all ramifications and, like, legal proceedings and shit like that. That's that's the story. That's the history, you know what I'm saying? So you can't even expect it to go after the fifth season. I mean, bro, they, they could take it all the way to the Iran-Contra hearings. They could cast Oliver North and Ronald Reagan and all that <laughs> shit. No, nah, you can go you can go do the shit now, you know what I'm saying? You you can go every you can go every fucking year because it's always know? yeah it's always something you know what I'm saying it's always something man when the dope and like when the crap you know you know settled down and it still was around you know dope came back still you know hard heroin you know you got the opioids you got everything you know what I'm saying well, shit you one, got, one thing you can do you see how the gangbangers weren't really interested in the crack yet remember but they soon is going to be interested in it so they can shift to that as well. Nah, but you can do, you can do, man, all over the board, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just want to stay in that projects. I think they do a good job when they be in that projects. Let me ask you this. What what would you do with Wanda if you was Lee? Because, I mean, I, hope, I, I pray he ain't about to put her on, you know what I mean? Nah, but see, that's why I told you a couple episodes ago, Wanda going to be one of them people that, that, Lee might have to put her on her feet, you know what I'm saying, give her a couple dollars or whatever, but she's going to be one of them people that you look back after the joint and she stopped smoking crap. She motherfucking got out of her situation because there's a lot of people that did that didn't did that and changed their life around, you know what I'm saying? She might take all the spot for real at that shelter. Uh, you, 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 that shout, if, if the shelter play, play like, the, the, the story, the shelter going to get shut down because, you know, Saint was front, fronting the, the shelter. So all that shit going to get shut down. Just like when Rick Ross, Rick Ross said when he got locked up, he had bought a lot of shit on the other people's names. Thinking when he came home, he going to be able to whoop de whoop And man, people sold that shit. <laughs> They took okay. it out of Rick Ross' story, though, because Rick Ross wasn't killing Bamas. And then, you know, the, 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 the Latino dude that was Reed's partner at the beginning? I, I, I take him to be the Danilo dude that Rick Ross well, testified against and 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 they killed him in the show so they never have Franklin being no snitch. But I think in real life, that's the Danilo guy that uh, Rick Ross testified against. It ain't even really snitching when you get to talking about the trap huh? You know what I'm saying? Fight against this Danilo cat that was like this CIA person. No, I know Danilo blend on, but the whole time it really ain't snitching when you come when you get to talking about it. the government. Yeah, I, didn't, I never considered what Ross did to be snitching. No, yeah, and trap like motherfucker in whole time he got paperwork on him. You know, if you want to categorize like, like like that, you know, if you got paperwork on you, you tell him. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, this is motherfucker. Oh yeah, I call him Rick Ross a snitch at all. All I'm saying is I think that this snowfall story is gone enough away that we don't got like you know there could be because you know how sometimes shit try to end on no, a good note. No, on a good you note. can't say that. You can't say that because 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 Saint already playing this joint like chess because. He was already once doing, he killed but, Andre. Once he killed Andre, he ain't like Rick Ross no more. Rick Ross' big thing was I never killed nobody. No, nah, was no see, violence with me. But see, people around him, you know, shit, shit happens, shit goes down. He probably ain't older shit. You know what I'm saying? He shut one down when he heard about yeah. it. No, nah, but but what I'm saying is, <clears throat> motherfucking like like Saint Saint that don't that don't. It can't be all the way, you know. And plus, Don Singleton died, so right. This joint a little different than what it probably was going to be. Yeah, no bullshit. We don't even know what it, what it really was going to be. It probably was going to go just off of what the Rick Ross joint was. You know what I'm saying? Because he he took a big part of it. You know, Rick Ross said he ain't even really never even watched the joint ever. You know, because he disgusted by it. You know, but God bless the dead man. We ain't even, Man, I, all I know, man, they gotta get Khadija. She she reckless, man. Yeah, you're one of your favorites, man. She reckless. Man. I mean, yeah. I mean, you 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 figure more more if it's all gas and and it's gonna accelerate every episode. That, that there's gonna be more Bamas dying, so you you definitely gotta figure Khadija gonna be one of them. You know, no, I'm sure yeah, somebody yeah. on Franklin's side gonna die. 
I'm sure nah, either yeah, man boy or Scully gonna die. Nah, and you know, motherfucking Irene Abe gonna die because Gary Webb supposedly shot himself, God bless the dead, shot himself twice in the head. You know what I'm saying? How you shoot yourself twice in the head? I don't know. It might have been a double action. I don't know, man. God, I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? But she gonna die for sure because she, God damn. What, what the fuck, man? You get out of that shit. Like, I don't understand her, man. I mean, I, I guess she's so mad that her parents, because her parents was in them shits. I mean, you you know everything. You know about Danilo and shit. Like, most people I talk, man, you the first person I talked to that knew about Danilo, but um, you know about the Japanese internment camps? Japanese internment camps, what? In, in World War II, they took Americans that was Japanese, like, like they was literal Americans that had been living here, American citizens, and they made them all go live in, like, these camps. And, and, and that's what Slim's parents had to go live in. And she's mad about that shit. Oh, for real? I ain't know that. Yeah. Yeah, our, go our government, they took every Japanese citizen and made them go live in a prison, basically, during World War II. Uh, shit. Everybody mad about something, you feel me? <laughs> I mean, it's shit, but, but when it's against the American government, they usually got a good reason, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't no little shit, you feel me? No, nah, but see that that's the whole thing, you know. You don't know what to trust in, you know. I ain't I ain't, look, I ain't trying to try and get poisoned, man, from motherfucking this motherfucking uh, video. I ain't got no problems over here. You have yeah. to leave oh, me yeah. the fuck alone. I pay my taxes, leave me alone and stay off the fuck away, man. Oh yeah, shit. I don't even care if y'all spying me on my laptop, huh? It's cool with me. Yeah. I am good over here. Ain't nobody breaking no law. I go to work, man. Leave me alone, please. Pay my taxes. Yes, sir. I, I, I know we ain't discussed this, but let, let you know, let, let, let's get a little song next to it. Uh, uh, other than that DMX, was you listening to anything this week? Because I ain't gonna lie, you got me going way down that Benny the Butcher jump. I even watched a little Benny the Butcher movie. You know, he's starring some movie. I forgot what it's called already. Yeah. He watched that jump. That's yeah. That don't all right. <laughs> it was all right. You know what's an right. underrated jump? The Mob Deep movie is actually pretty good. The Infamous. Because uh, it, it starred Noid more than Mob Deep. And Noid did pretty good. I mean, it ain't no belly or nothing. But, you know, I thought I thought State Property 2 was was, was a gr not a great movie. But I thought it, it was way better than what I expected. Man, you got to be good to be man in a, in a, like, in the hood movie. Belly, belly, definitely. Belly, one of them motherfucking uh, because Belly wasn't supposed to be that good, right? That I mean, I, I, I got about it being better than Belly, but that's it because I don't cons Ooh. I can say like I got about it. Fuck out of here, man! Belly, I, Belly, Belly, what? Yeah, I belly, love I love about it. Belly, Belly, no, you true. Belly star stuff. Where you get that weed from, Grandma? No. Columbia, motherfucker. No. Belly, yeah, hey, girls, belly. We all got opinions, brother. A lot of people put belly up there, like a lot of youngsters put belly up there with menace and shit, man. No, nah, man, belly. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, nah, belly that shit. Belly that shit. Yeah. Belly up there. Don't, don't. What? Yeah, but I'm buying, but I'm buying youngsters like watching YouTube videos of people playing video games, so. Knowledge, bold, <laughs> no. Belly, belly got so many quotes, man. Sure. Right. Oh, bro. Yeah. Stand, and, and I mean, it got they got the illest cameos ever, the illest opening ever. No, T Boz and T Boz and Nas might leave a little something to desire as actors, but I mean, I thought Stan Spit did pretty good. DMX did fantastic. Method Man did fantastic. Um, Tyrone Turner dropped down. You know, my knowledge bone. <laughs> <laughs> Why, man, man? Come on, man. Wait, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't give you a chance to answer. Why'd you listen to anything besides DMX this week? Yeah, the, uh, that Benny jump, man. I know the uh, plugs, too, man. The plugs, too. That longevity on there. No instructions. Survivor's remorse. Man, man, man. That jump is a bang. That jump is a banger, man. Yeah, it is. I mean, shit. Yeah, I'll get, oh, and to give you credit where credit is due, you're right. The um Sons of Anarchy season one is way better. 
Way better. I've seen like five or six of them Jones now. Man, that ain't no surprise. I try to tell you, man, it's up there in my top five, and I'm a, I, I, I got good taste. I don't really fuck. I, I mean, I, you're right. I suspended my disbelief because, you know, I was like, you know, no Air Force Ones. If I put you on to something and you don't like it, you don't like my type of shit anyway. So, you know, don't look for me to, to give you recommendations. But as far as if I put you on to something, that shit like that, man. Well, see, I forgot about Psycho Dude, my man with the cut on it. You know, the one Psycho Dude always be wanting to kill people. I don't even know his name. Man, nah, he OC, man, too, man. Yeah, He's and then, then the other dude with the cut on his face. You know, I, I forgot how many dope bammers it is at the beginning because at the end of the series, man, Madden oh, and them talking about my mind. Uh, you talking about my mind. Yeah, my mind be going Yeah, he, he vicious. Man. I fuck with he, him. He, the Irish one, man. What's yeah. my mind like? Why is my mind? Now he go... Yeah, he he top dog. Man. He top dog. Hey, what's my man's name, man? Say you gonna make I gotta go find that job, man. So, um Netflix is some shit, man. Put that shit back on it, man. It's a, it's on Hulu, man. They got that deal now. All these different fucking Hulu, Netflix, uh fucking what happened? I remember when it was TiVo was just the, the new shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, it's too many motherfucking acronyms, man. I can't keep up. NBA on NBC was that shit. Bring that shit fucking back, man. Let's fuck out of here, all these different acronyms, man. I can't keep up. HBO Max. Man, what the fuck, man? I thought but not having cable was supposed to save me money. <laughs> yeah, I know by the time you get all these jumps and add them up, that shit more than the cable bill was. No bullshit. Send your kid to college, man. Man, you, I, I ain't even a front. You know what we be doing? We just subscribe to e each one like every couple months and watch, then binge watch all the jumps, that, like let the season finish and do that shit for like a month. Do it through Amazon. Man, like Showtime, are... Stars, Epics. Like we just got Epics for 99 cents so I can binge watch Godfather of Harlem. Yeah. Or Yeah, the bumpy jump. I, I heard that jump. I watched a couple of episodes that was free. You know what I'm saying? Then they wanted me to pay and then I. Uh, they get to ask you your email and shit. I click off this shit. What the fuck, man? I know, especially with the remote, right? That should be taking forever and shit. Yeah, man. Like, look, man. I thought this was supposed to be smart TV, man. I ain't got time for this shit, man. I remember, man, 19A and 19B. 19B was the box. Yeah. Was the box, man. Bring that shit back. Bring A and B side back, man. 21A is HBO. <laughs> Fucking 60 and 61 on the Scrambler box with Adam and Eve and Spice, man. Shout out to the Scrambler box. Bring that shit back. Oh, man, I can see. I can just see Ellis right now with that junk with the static. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, that motherfucking box, man. That motherfucking Spice, bro. <laughs> A lot of hurry palms around here. <laughs> hey, oh, so man. Grew up on that shit, man. Grew up on that shit, man. Hell yeah, Bulls games at night on WGN. Oh, that's still a ACC that's still a on fact. Tuesday. Still, ACC on Tuesday. That's still a fact, man. Thursday. My man Zach Attack, Zach Morris, man. My man Zach Attack had fifty piece the other night in the loss, man. Zach Attack, man. Saved by the bell, man. Zach was in. Shit, they they gonna they gonna get the plan. They gonna win the plan. They might upset, man. I, I ain't as I ain't as confident as all these teams in the East because like the Nets is if if they come out. Healthy, then yeah, but that ain't no given. You know what I'm saying? Philly, if they no, come the out healthy, yeah, that ain't it, no it given. Come down, it come down to that's who you want to see is the Nets and Philly in the Eastern Conference Finals. You know what I'm saying? With a healthy MB, healthy KD, healthy Harden. You know what I'm saying? So the Bulls as an eight seed couldn't upset the Bucks as a one seed or the Nets or, or the Sixers if they had the wrong injuries? I think they could. That's action. I don't know. Is that motherfucker about to shoot out? I don't know. I mean, I'm yeah. telling you, if, if the Bulls beat the Bucks off Zach Levine going off for three games out the series, I the, the see NBA it. ain't the NBA ain't gonna have that. You know, they want they want. Man, the NBA be more happy with the Bulls ma making it as an eight seed to the second round than the Bucks. I guarantee that. I guarantee the Bulls get higher ratings. I guarantee the Bulls get higher ratings than the Bucks. Bucks games be slumming when they be on ABC. No, don't nobody be wanting to watch it. I, I, I like the Bucks too. I ain't hating. I'm just speaking the numbers. No, no, but, but, no, but they get bad ratings with the Bucks. No, Greek freak, Greek freak, Greek freak. 
Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers keep trying to call him Greek Freak, and uh, he, he's still a draw. No, man, Dallas games and Bucks games don't get anywhere near as many viewers as Pelican games. Look it up, I'm telling you. See, you look at too many numbers, though. Them numbers, man, don't let the numbers screw you. you I mean, you're right, though, because I always wonder how they figured that shit out. Like, how the fuck they know what we watching in our house? No, and how many, how many, how they know I ain't got 40 people in my house watching the game? You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit weak, man. I don't, but Zion is drawing. But you open-minded, right. though, bro. A no, lot of people no, ain't open-minded. Listen, listen, but listen, I tell you, Zion is the draw. Zion yeah. is great. Zion, before he, I told you, a fucking economy booster. You know what I'm saying? When LeBron left Cleveland, the economy suffered. You know what I'm saying? When he came back, boosted the economy. That's how Zion is, man. He's an economy booster. He gonna give people jobs wherever city he playing in. The motherfucker is booming. It's Rising booming. tide lifts all boats. No, nah, it's booming. But at the same time, Greek Freak stayed in Milwaukee for that big payday. No, nobody wants to stay in fucking Milwaukee nowadays, but he stayed, got that big payday, and he's still a draw, man. You know what I'm saying? MVP. I ain't my guy, but he's still a draw. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't going to be mad if that's the Eastern Conference Finals neither, the Bucks versus the Nets. But that's why he guaranteed the Nets. You know what I'm saying? And that big showdown with Embiid, a healthy Embiid, and Doc Rivers. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But that's a basketball fan's dream. But but you gotta get hardened back, man. Shout out to man Rob Nicks, man. Rob, Rob was right, man. Oh fucking man. See, but LeBron was my vote. So he done missed too many goddamn games. So man, Harden, Harden is the Batman on that team. And he's the MVP this year. But they don't want to really give it to Harden, so they want to give it to, uh, you know, because he already won, won it. So I think the deferment might be to – Joker might win off the deferment. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If you want to look at who's the best in the league right now, who's the most valuable on their fucking team, it's the big, you know? Yeah, I, definitely. I but, but like you said, who they want to because it come down to that narrative. And I think one of the narratives this year is that the center is back. Because I think they really wanted to give it to Embiid, but he missed too many games. So if they're going to keep that centers back narrative and Jokic stays what it is, and they're looking way better with Gordon in the lineup, man. I don't know if you caught any Nuggets games, but, man, you you know, you know he went from averaging 0. 0.8 points of, of possession when he touched the ball to 1.2, which is just tremendous because he, he's, he's he's feeding off Jokic. He, he cutting. He, he's not looking to isolate or none of that shit. And, and they're just looking – He's looking like a better version of Jeremy Grant from last year, and they got Will Barton playing. So, so if they climb up in the standings, then it's it's almost a no brainer that he's gonna get it. It's, it's political, you know. It's political. Yeah. See the man scared me. Uh, free Larry Hoover, man. You right. You know what I'm saying? It's all. It's all. It's all. You know, up and down politics, man. As usual. You know what I'm yes, but if the beer win the motherfucking championship, he ain't going to really trip off no MVP award. Yeah, no bullshit. He, he could give a fuck at that point. And, 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 you know, shout out Tatum, man. I told you Tatum is out there doing that Kobe type shit, man. He had a 50-something piece the other night, man. He was doing all the fucking Kobe moves out the night, too, man. Yeah, I definitely have fucking. Fuck oh, yeah, I fucks with Tatum and Brown. The Celtics need a different piece. Kemba ain't what he was, but yeah, I I, I I watch the Celtics every chance I get. That's the first time I can say that. Well, I, I watched them when Kyrie was there, but most of my life, I ain't been much of a Celtics watcher. I ain't like yeah, the I, team with Ray Allen and them. I, I used to think they was boring. I took I took G to see um, Kyrie. Kyrie dropped 28 on, on the Wizards, man. Before yeah, that wasn't hard. He, he yeah. probably didn't break a sweat doing that. Nah, cause the first half he was he was coasting, and he sent the bitch to overtime on two free throws, and my, I think it might have been three free throws. Marquise Morris fouled him in the fucking corner, man. Kyrie, mm -hmm. man, Kyrie, best handles ever, man. Uncle Drew learned it from Rod Strickland, who used to have the best handles ever. Agreed. Uh, at least, at least uh, on the Kyrie Irving part. 
Man, shout out, shout out, Rod Strickland, BX Finest, you know what I'm saying? Straight from the Bronx, man. Bro. No jumper at all. I could get get to the hole anytime he wanted after eating 10 hot dogs at halftime every game. And maybe it's a double or a triple, you know what I'm saying? That's my man, you know, but. I still think he's the best, best player one, ever to make the All-Star game. One of the best finishers around, you know, everybody talking about Kyrie and Steph around the, around the rim. Rob was one of the most craftiest yeah. motherfuckers around that room, man. You know what I'm saying? Pause. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Rob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, you always bring up Rob, man. That's my favorite player ever. I love Rob Strickland. I ain't mad at you, man. No, everybody fuck with Rob Strickland, man. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't a, wasn't a smart trade, man, hindsight. 50 50, like, like, uh, nah, it wasn't Spurious, right. Sp like Spurious say, you know what I'm saying? But I still take them a couple years because I went to mad at them games, fool. Like, so shit, I got to see them easy jump. to go to, they put yeah. a hot fucking ticket, <laughs> yeah, nah, no, bullshit. and, and then one like, Rashi, one like Rashid was balling at the time, like a couple years later, it was a bad trade, but for the first two, two red, years, it looked like the Wizards straight up robbed them. A lot of red and blue seats in that motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah, there was. But but the second half, you can always move way the fuck down. <laughs> Damn, man. Shout out to Capital Center, U.S. Air Arena. It ain't there no more. Yeah, shout out J.J. Janice Evans. Used to take me up there all the time. She worked at the restaurant. Take me on stay. I was saying, Kevin, we, we, we grew up watching them, them games up in there. We'd be there like five hours early, but it'd be worth it. Oh, man. But yeah, bro. I, I I guess that's about a good as good as place to end as any, unless you got anything to add. Nah, man. Rest in peace, then Max, man. You know, one of the goats, man. One of the goats, man. All time, all time, all time Hall of Fame character, artist, man. Art personified, you know what I'm saying, man. One is one is one is MTV Crib Jones, man. All time favorite, man, because it was straight. He showed you how how he was regular, man. Him and Red Man show you, man. They regular dudes, you know what I'm saying, from around the way, you know what I'm saying. And man, with all the dogs and the, and man, the old schools, you know, people from around our way can relate to that simple simple shit, you know what I'm saying. All we need is come 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 little things to smoke on, you know what I'm saying? Nice little yard, kickback, basketball court, some music, you know what I'm saying? We simple, man. Good, yeah. You know, couple dog, couple dogs running around, man. That's why, man, man, shout out Burn, man. Your man dog, man. You got to get him on this shit, man. You we do, we do doing it on, we doing it on Tuesday. It'll be out on Wednesday. Yeah, man. Remember, man, I, I network, man. I ain't just man on the show, man. I be networking, man. I ain't even trying to be on the shit, man. Playing the scenes, man. Producing, executive producing, creating. Well, what the fuck ever, man. CTC, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go, man. Salute, RIP, DMX, SDE. Make sure you follow G from the Shop on Instagram. G from DA Shop. Mark Wald Award at Mark Wald Award. Y'all have a good week. The Superfacts Network, home of Jet Pop, SDE, and the Superfacts Show, now available on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from. Come check out St. Laz, G from the Shop, and Mark Walter Ward.